Hello lead coders, today I am going to solve lead code problem number 67 at binary. In this problem we are given two binary strings A and B and we need to return the sum of the binary string. So let's look at this example here. So we are given a, a string A and B which has the value 11 and 1. So basically this is not 11, this value in decimal corresponds to 3 and this is 1. So the result would be equals to 4, right? And what's 4 in binary? It's 100. So this must be our result, our uh, corresponding result. Now let's see how we perform uh, addition in binary. So whenever there is, okay, so when we add 0 to 0, basically, that would result in the value 0 with no carry. When we add 1 to 0, then that would result in a value 1 with no carry. Now, when we add um, 1 to a 1, this results in a value 1, um, value 0 with a carry of 1. So basically, we are getting a carry 1 here. So this is how we perform our addition. Now, when we are adding these two values, let's just see, look at this example. So we have 1, 1 and a 1. So when we add 1, 1, what do we get? We get a value 0 with a carry of 1, right? So we get the value 0 with a carry of 1. Now, once we are adding this value, since here is nothing, which means that there is a value 0 here. So we add a 1 to 0 that's equals to 1 and then we add that 1 to our carry 1 so that becomes equals to 1 0 that is we have a carry of 1 and then 0 value now um, we have a carry 1 right but we don't have anything here and here in both the strings which means that there is an invisible 0 basically that's what we um, that's what we uh, believe that is right so we are basically adding 0 to 0 that's 0 and 0 plus 1 is equals to 1 so we get the value 100 here right so this is basically how we are going to actually solve our problem so we are going to start from the end from the back of each uh, string and then we move forward as we move forward if there is a carry we pass the carry as well and add the carry to our um, string and keep the carry moving forward as well and uh, once the carry is greater than the length of any of these two um, that is when we add the carry itself to our resulted string now let's try to uh, solve this problem so what are we going to do is we are going to start with the length of the two string so let m equals to length and equals to um, b length all right now for i equals to um, a length minus 1 and j equals to b length minus 1 so basically what are we doing we are taking the last element of each of these two strings and then we are going to do that until and unless i is greater than equals to 0 or j is greater than equals to 0 and we keep on reducing these values on each iteration now here we are going to create our sum by adding the two uh, um, binary digits so once in this case we are adding one with one right so what are we doing here is since a and b both are strings so we need to convert it into numbers so we now use this uh, library number a at index i and we also need to check if this value exists or not if this exists then we are going to use this value else we are going to use a zero plus same thing with b at index j 
or zero plus the carry okay so we need a carry value which is initially equals to zero so we add a carry and we get our sum now um we are going to add our sum to our result so our result is a string all right so result will be equals to um so if our sum okay so we take the modulus of the sum so we divide it by 10 because we we only want uh, the digit right let's just look at this example one plus one is equals to um in the sum that would be equals to two so two modules of two gives us a one okay so we are actually going to take modules by two because that's a binary digit so so that would be one plus our result and then um our carry carry if sum is greater than one then carry becomes equals to um one else our carry is equals to zero okay so far so good so and at the end we also need to take care of our carry if carry if we have a carry then our result will be equals to um, 1 plus the result and then finally return our result all right let's try to run our code okay let's submit it awesome so now let's look at the time complexity so what are we doing here we are looping over um, both this string once right so basically there's just one loop and that would be um, equals to the length of the of the string which has the maximum length so that would be max of m comma n uh, for time complexity and the space complexity is equal, is constant